guys? We just came back from our toy hunt, and we have Ares from the Thor Hulk Gladiator Hulk Builder figure wave. So, uh, first, let's just get into the packaging. So, down here it says the Almighty Thor, because this isn't the Rag this isn't a Ragnarok figure. This is uh, just the comic part of the wave. So on this side you have a picture of Ares, and on this side you have a picture of Odin's son. Uh, and on the back you have a product shot of Ares, and then sold separately uh, Odin's son. And you get a picture of the wave down here. Sorry, the tape is sticking to the packaging, but that's all right. Uh, then you just have like some licensing warnings, stuff like that. It says build a figure Hulk. Uh, on the top. You have a little insignia of like the hammer. This is Legend series. You can just view the figure through the window. That's pretty much it for the box. So let's get into the figure. Okay, so now I have Ares out of the packaging, and he's actually a pretty hefty figure. He's pretty big, and he comes with uh, two giant weapons, which I think are pretty great. So first we have the sword. Where it looks like really used, like there's like the little chips in the blade, and uh, right here on like the hilt guard thing, whatever. And it's like a nice, like leather, like uh, looking grip. Um, and the sword just looks like really scratched up. I really like the silver color they used, and the gold, and then like this, like black. I, yeah, it's just black. So that looks nice. Um, then on the other one, I really like this paint scheme or it's like the silver for the edge and the rest is black. I mean, the handle could have been a different color. I think that would have been nice. But then like there's like all this like scratching in the axe. So it looks like really nice and used. Um, another accessory is this helmet. It looks really nice with the glossy black and the gold. And then this mohawk looks like, like actually like kind of like furry even though it's not. It does have like really nice texturing, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then he comes with whoops, comes with the build a figure piece. So this is the hold up, sorry. This is the left arm for Gladiator Hulk, and it comes with his club and just the arm. It has like all the armoring on it. it has, like, shoulder oh eco all right here's the shoulder guard and like the forearm armor and it just looks really nice like the paint apps are great it looks really war torn it just it's a, i mean already this figure looks great and uh can't wait until he's assembled yeah so now i think we should take a look at the figure alone so i'll just take his weapons out Okay guys, so he has the removable helmet, you know, I already went over that, but um, oh wait, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, it comes with this little knife that's not war-torn at all, it just kind of looks like a new knife. Actually, wait, right there, there's like a little bit of gold paint on the blade, hmm, that kind of sucks, right, whatever, uh, but then it just goes into this uh, sheath on his thigh that holds in pretty well uh, but I thought we'd go over his articulation first so uh, this is actually a little bit of a complaint so on this head his rotation all the way around but he can't look up because he doesn't have a disc joint so he's just kind of always looking down a little bit but when you have the helmet on that doesn't look too bad like it just kind of looks fine when he has the helmet on uh, but you know that's alright. Uh, let's see. Is a shoulder hinge. Uh, rotation at the shoulder. The figure is very stiff. Uh, bicep swivel. Uh, single jointed elbows. Uh, wrist rotation and wrist hinge. Uh, he has a diaphragm joint that goes like that far forward, that far back. Is rotation and it goes side to side a little bit like that. His helmet fell off. Uh, then for his legs, I don't know what this joint is called, but like it's the one where you kind of have to like turn it around like that. So then, like, if I take the knife out for a second, like you know, he can go like that, 
then you need to turn it around like that for him to kick forward, which is a little bit of a bummer, but, I mean, the figure does look really well, so I don't really mind that too much, but, um, he has double joint knees, uh, he has, uh, ankle pivot, that I can point, he, uh, he can't really bring his ankle up at all, it's just, like, level, and then you can point it, but that's alright, um, that's it for the articulation. There's not that much, but there's a good amount, so that's all right. Uh, now, I guess uh, let's get into like the detail on the figure. So, let's get up close to his head. So, it's kind of hard to see, but like his eyes are very like shadowed on the outside. And then there's like silver and blue right there. He has like a his eyebrows like pointing down, like he's angry. Uh, but he does have pretty much a straight face. So that's a little weird. To have like his eyebrows being angry and the rest is like fine. Uh, his hair sculpt is okay. I've seen better. Like there's like a little uh, like blemish right there. That's a little annoying. Um, but it looks all right. His muscular structure looks pretty well. Like especially for this figure, like the veins don't really pop out too much. Um, everything looks pretty good. Like his armor looks pretty cool with like the like this looks like leather and the chest piece, I don't know, just looks like metal. Like it just looks like a you know, metal chest piece. Then like all the leather straps and stuff look pretty nice. Like the little wrist thingy on his arm. Uh, then like the sheath looks really war torn. Same as the calf armor that looks like really used and like just like it's been through a lot. It just looks nice. The belt, you know looks fine. I feel like they could have done a better job making it uh, pop a little bit more from like this leather like bracing underneath the chest piece. Uh, then on the legs it, it just you know looks like your average like cloth sculpt on a figure nothing too fancy. Um, yeah I mean that's pretty much it for the details. I mean you know the paint apps are pretty simple. Um, yeah it's pretty good with the details. I like it. Okay, so now we have this figure in a pretty generic pose, uh, where he's pretty much standing up straight. His mohawk is a little bit tilted just because, you know, we have him on, uh, we just have him tilting his head. But as you can see, with the mohawk, he's about eight inches. And when we take his helmet off, oops, he dropped his sword, he's about seven inches tall. So, uh, just to help you, uh, see that better, you know, we have some size comparisons of a build a figure. Uh, Space Knight Venom, which is honestly about the same height, like with the Mohawk, he's like a little bit taller, but this is a pretty big figure. I mean, most of them are like uh, six inch or six and a half inch, and this guy is like seven to eight, so this is definitely a bigger figure than most uh, figures. Uh, I also have a Homecoming Spider Man with me. Uh, and I was put him in front of him, like here. As you can see, like he's up to like about his chin, or so. Actually, no, he's like uh, up to his neck, like that. Uh, when most figures would like be at his nose or so, but this figure is pretty tall and pretty big. It's also a thicker figure. I don't know what mold they used for this, I don't know if it's new, but I doubt it is new. I think they just reused an old one uh, from Toy Biz or something, but um, it's pretty big figure, I really like it. Now I'm going to get into my overall review. Okay guys, so my overall review of this figure is going to be a little bit hard because I feel like it's a good figure with a good sculpt and good detail, but I feel like there's just some articulation that's missing that I feel is pretty necessary for a lot of figures like the disc joint at the neck and I feel like I I mean it's a the leg articulation is okay but I prefer it if it's like the more modern version where you don't have to like twist the joints and do that I just don't like that much um but I feel like the posability on this figure like I like it like obviously this pose I like it a lot I don't know uh, if other people do, but I, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, then, I, I like the paint apps on this figure. They do look pretty good. Like, 
they don't look like really out of place they just look nice uh the skull isn't fuzzy at all uh what like his leg armor looks really war torn and nice uh i honestly have to give this figure about an 8 out of 10 it's a really great figure i'd pick him up especially since he comes with a piece to the gladiator hulk but i also would just pick him up even if you're not building that because it's a great figure action figure jump squad out